Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team, and I'm at what might be not a hidden secret in town, but one of the most giving and established nonprofits in our town. Um, I'm here with Lee and Jill, <laughs> two of the folks that are heading up the Faith Food Pantry in the back of the St. Rose facility. You can see it right behind me. And bottom line is there's always a need. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes. I just yes. got a tour. I, you know, I, everyone kind of knows what a food pantry does. Everyone knows the good that it does. But I think coming here, and I've never been here, it's really eye-opening. And it's humbling. Um, and, it's, and it's really incredible the work that you guys are doing. And, and, and Lee, if you could give us just a quick synopsis of kind of how long Faith Food Pantry has been in existence? Yes. How many families do we serve? All right. And a little bit kind of about why we're here. Okay, we started in 1983 at St. John's Episcopal Church in Sandy Hook. It was started by the Reverend Joan Horowitz. Okay. She felt outreach was very important. And we've been in this location a year and a half. And we serve about 150 families. Every month? Yes, mm -hmm. give or take. And, and does that ebb and flow throughout the year? Are there different needs throughout the year? Oh yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. definitely. Yes, the winter months are harder because they're, our clients are paying for the heat, electricity, that maybe they're not paying Paper for. In, yes, but they're not paying for in the summer. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Obviously electricity, but not heat. Interesting, interesting. But it could be any one of us tomorrow that would need it. Well, we had, that brief, we had that brief conversation inside is, is at any moment, you're a paycheck away yes, from right. a need. Mm -hmm. That's and, absolutely right. And, and you guys kind of were talking a little bit about, you know, the, there's so much pride still, right? And people who, you know, I, I, can, I can just imagine if, if, if I was in that need, how hard it would be to ask for help. Mm -hmm. Well, the hardest thing is to walk in the front door. Yes. And people have told us, like, they've come to the parking lot, but it took and them they, three times yes. before they could actually come inside. Yeah. And then, then once they get in there, they see that we're really nice and warm and welcoming, and then they're they, mad that they it took them so long to right. get there. So, but that that is a big step, just getting here and saying, I need help. Yeah, absolutely. But they definitely leave with a smile. Yeah. There, there, was, a, there was a very, there was a feeling in there as we were getting a tour of, it's, it's really, the, the ego is checked at the door. There's really, it's, it's just, it's, it's just goodness inside. It really is. I mean, right. It's just everyone there is there to help. Oh yes, absolutely. absolutely. You, you can feel it and you can feel that if you were in that position of need, that this is a safe place to come. Oh absolutely. yes. It's a judgment free zone, obviously. Mm -hmm. and just People just wanting to help people. Yes. And all the people are Newtown residents, right? Oh, absolutely. Yes. They have to show proof that they live in Newtown. I think we Nothing lose, else. I think we lose sight of that sometimes that we, we, we walk around Newtown, we go to Starbucks, we see the cars and the families and the houses and day to day at school, you know, with my kids yep. and you see the parents, you think everything's okay. And you think right. we live in this kind of bubble uh -huh. where everybody's fine. But in reality, there's always people struggling, whether uh, it's just for a month or for an extended period of absolutely. time. Absolutely. And where can they turn for help? And this is obviously one of those places they can turn with. Yeah, as I say, anyone is welcome as long as they live in Newtown. Yeah. And it's with no questions two, asked. None. 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 Nope. We um, ask it because the money and the food is given by Newtown people. Right, right. so it's to support Newtown So that, residents. yes, every town has at least one food bank. Right, and it's it's supplied by donations yes. and run by volunteers. Yeah. So, um, you know, and Thanksgiving is coming up. We're gonna have turkeys and full Thanksgiving meals if anyone needs that. Yep. Let's, let's talk about that. So obviously, I, I, I think you guys, you get an influx of food for the holidays. Yes. People are always more giving around the holidays. Yes. Absolutely. But what are the things you always need? Give me kind of like a hit list real quick. Well, in the summer, it, that's our lowest supply of, of inventory because people go away and they're on vacation. And so that would be coffee, cleaning supplies, yes. like laundry detergent, um, any- A lot of the basics. Really, yeah. Yes, yeah. real basic, yes. Okay. Yeah. And you guys are always doing food drives. In fact, our team is gonna host a food drive, hopefully within the next month. We're gonna great, try to get great. some clearances at one of the supermarkets to set up a table in there and get the word out and advertise to, to try to fill those shelves for you guys. Um, but at any time, people can drop off food. It's Tuesdays and Thursdays, was it? Is yes. It Tuesday mornings from 9.30 to 11.30 okay. and Thursday evenings 6 to 7.30. Okay. Or we will meet them here. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Yes, definitely. We're, never, we're never turning down volunteers, obviously. And donations. <laughs> and donations, yes. right. Yes. <laughs> and so and I, th I, think, I think what you guys are doing is a great summation of what Newtown is all about. Oh, I agree. Newtown, you know, we go from town to town. And we're fortunate enough, I, my business expands in 20 towns around Newtown. 
But I'm telling you, there's something special mm -hmm. about living here and the people and the kindness that, that is exuded in this town. Absolutely. And you guys are an exemplary example of that. It's amazing what Newtown does for us, the community. It, I can't. Yeah, it's awesome. and the friendships that yes. have been formed here. Through yes. People that donate and people that, clients that come and volunteers. Yes. It's really a, I warm love that you call the folks to come in who need clients. Well, they are. They are. They really are. It's not like the needy is coming in. No, the clients are coming in. We're no. here to serve our clients. Yes. I think that was really cool when I heard you guys say that. But over the years, you establish a rapport. Oh, you do. Them. Become friends. Yes. You know what they like, what, sure. they're, what their kids yeah. eat, what, yes. you know, and, and it's, it's nice. Yeah. It's really nice. That's really awesome, guys. Guys, listen, thank you, Lee. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time. Well, thank you for, thank coming. You for coming. We're looking visit. forward to working with you guys and trying to help Can't fill wait. the shelves. Thank you. And Absolutely. That's it, guys. Thanks. Great. Thank, thank you. you.